guys caught me catching up on some paperwork and answering some letters. See, all my tinker mail still goes to my cottage back in the Magical Shire, and things get mixed up and I end up falling behind. It's actually kind of a problem. I know! What if I made a mailbox here for the Tinker Factory? That way my Tinker Mail and my personal mail, they don't get mixed in and I actually get mail where it needs to go. It's a really good idea. Would you guys like to make a mailbox with me? Awesome. Well, let's get started. But first, it's time for a history fun fact. Philip Downing patented the mailbox in 1891. It was a metal box with four legs. Downing patented it as the street letter box. That's a funny way of saying mailbox. Did you know the US had a mail system all the way back in 1775? But the mailbox wasn't patented until 1891. Hmm, I wonder if any mail got lost in the transition. What do you think? That's our history fun fact. All right, friends, before we get started on our project, we need to follow the Tinker Ferry safety rules. Rule number one, we need to wear our snazzy safety glasses. Oh. Rule number two, we need to make sure we have a grown-up with us at all times to help keep us safe and to help us with our project. And rule number three, we need to make sure we clean up whenever we're done. Now let's get to working on our mailbox. All right, friends, I'm going to use cardboard and a brad to make our mailbox today. This is just what I have lying around in the Tinker Factory at the moment. Feel free to use any boxes, plastic containers, whatever you have at home to make your mailbox. This is just what I have available to me today. So first, I'm going to start with my base. How long do I want it to be? Let's see, this is a little long. I think I'll cut it a little bit. This looks pretty good to me. Hmm, now I need the part that goes over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and I'm going to use my arm to kind of bend it into a curve. Now it bends. Well, that looks really cool and all, but it's not stuck together. I guess we need some tape. All right, friends, now we have our base and the outer part of our mailbox taped together. But it doesn't have a back. Let's go ahead and cut a piece to match our back. All right, to make sure we get the exact shape, I have a pencil. And we're just going to trace the shape we need. Now we'll cut it out. Let's go ahead and tape our back to our mailbox. All right, we're almost done. Now we just need the lid. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna trace the shape that we need. We now have our shape cut out, but it's not attached to our mailbox. So we're gonna tape it just like we did the other side, but we're only gonna tape this bottom side because we still want it to be able to open and close. I think we're almost done. Are we missing anything for our mailbox? You're right, we're missing the flag. The flag is really important because when it's up, it lets the postal worker know that there's outgoing mail. And if it's down, that means they don't have any outgoing mail. We should definitely add our flag. Hmm, I think I'll use some more cardboard. I will cut. All right, here can be our flagpole. Let's add a little arrow to it, make it fancy. It's a little small. I'll try one a little bigger. There we go. I think that will get their attention. Well, let's tape our two pieces together. Now we have our flag but I want it to be able to move. And since it's on the side, tape's not gonna work. That's right, I have my brad, wherever it went. Oh, there it is. All right, so we're going to attach our brad using our scissors to poke a hole through the cardboard, and then we'll stick it through and open it. 
Since we're using scissors to poke holes, make sure you have your grown-up nearby to help you, okay? Sounds good, friends. Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to use our scissors. Poke the hole. All right, and now our flag is on there, and it moves. Good job on your mailbox, friends. It turned out really, really well. I'm super excited to put it into use. But it's a little boring. I think we should decorate it. I think I'm gonna use a little bit of fairy magic just for time's sake, but you can decorate yours however you want. Wow, very colorful. And it even says Sydney the Tinker Fairy. Oh, it's so cute. What does your mailbox look like? It looks awesome. Good job, friends. Well, since we're done with our project, let's go ahead and follow rule number three and clean up after ourselves. Hello, I am a mailbox. I like to eat mail. Nom, 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 nom. I'm just kidding. It's just me, friends. Thank you so much for helping me build my mailbox. Now I'll be able to get mail here at the Tinker Factory. Thank you so much for helping me solve my problem. And I had so much fun tinkering with you. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, friends. Bye.